since the dawn of time. One thing has captivated the interest of all people. It's a topic that is always approached with awe and fascination, outer space. In earlier times, it was the study of stars, moons and planets from the surface of the Earth that thinkers and scientists used to determine what was out there. Gradually, man has discovered more resources to help him, and these methods have changed. From studying stars with the naked eye, we have developed telescopes and from telescopes space probes such as Voyager. These were refined to the point that they can be sent out of Earth's atmosphere and into space. There are two probes that have taken space exploration to a new level. These are Voyagers 1 and 2 sent out by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in 1977. The main purpose of these probes was to collect data from space and send it back to Earth. After surveying humankind in its exploration of space for more than 44 years, it seems that there's either something fundamentally wrong with the Voyager 1 or something sinister is thriving in the Voyager. To understand the data being sent back to Earth by the Voyager, we first need to understand the Voyager's timeline, function and purpose. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, 16 days after Voyager 2 was launched despite the fact that both the Voyagers had a similar mean mass of 720 kg. Voyager 1 soon overtook Voyager 2. This is not surprising as both the path and the speed of Voyager 1 was quite different compared to the Voyager 2. The path of Voyager 1 along its path, the Voyager sent back data from Jupiter, Saturn and Saturn's largest moon Titan. The main thing that the Voyager studied about these bodies were the weather, magnetic fields and their rings. In fact, he was the first probe to identify that there was a ring around Jupiter at all. It is important to tell you here that the main purpose of the Voyager was to locate and study regions and peripheries outside the boundaries of the heliosphere. It became the first spacecraft to cross the heliosphere and enter interstellar space on August 25, 2012. The heliosphere is basically the outermost atmospheric layer of the Sun. It encloses the Sun in a bubble-like space in 2014. The Voyager also reported a massive electromagnetic ejection from the heliosphere, which continued at least till the end of that year. This report was important because it confirmed that the Voyager was indeed in interstellar space. In 2017, NASA's Voyager team tested the probe's trajectory correction maneuver, which involved the firing of its thrusters for the first time since 1980. This test was expected to have prolonged the Voyager's journey by two to three years. This meant that the Voyager should function exceptionally well till at least 2025. After that, it is expected that its thermoelectric generator will no longer be able to supply the power required for the instruments to operate. However, lately, the Voyager has been sending weird signals, which have left scientists and astronomers baffled. They do not seem to know where the signals are coming from, why the Voyager is able to process them, or where exactly the Voyager is. How does the Voyager work? According to the experts at NASA, the Voyager has an antenna pointed at Earth at all times. This antenna is responsible for sending data back to Earth, while a similar one collects data from space. Once the data is collected by the Voyager, it is converted to radio signals before being transmitted to Earth. From the region of space where the Voyager stands now, it takes approximately two whole days for us to receive the signal the Voyager collects. The radio signals sent by the Voyager are further converted to number sequences at NASA and then interpreted by scientists uncovering the problem, just a glitch or the presence of aliens. The signals the Voyager has just sent back do not seem readable. That is the number sequences do not make any sense at all. This can mean two things. Either the Voyager is malfunctioning in some way, or the very cliched possibility of the existence of aliens. The latter possibility has been ruled out by the people at NASA since none of its safety mechanisms have been triggered. According to them, the Voyager has an alarm system on board which will be triggered if the Voyager is lost. But since the alarm system hasn't gone off, despite the fact that the Voyager's coordinates are not clear at the moment, NASA presumes all is well except for some minor malfunction of the Voyager systems. It certainly has not been found by aliens. The Golden Records An interesting fact about the Voyager is that it contains what NASA calls a golden record. The golden records contain to photograph records containing images and sounds from Earth. The sounds range from natural sounds like that of birds' wind, whales and thunder to greetings in over 55 languages. Printed messages from NASA's President Carter and Security General Waldheim are also aboard the Voyager. The golden records also contain 90 minutes worth of music. Classics collected from all over the world comprise the music collection aboard the Voyager including Beethoven's Evergreen Fifth Symphony and String Quartet. The phonograph is programmed to play only if it is discovered by living creations. This was confirmed by Carl Sagan, the late consultant and advisor to NASA when he said the spacecraft will be encountered and the record played only if there is an advanced spacefaring civilization in interstellar space. The fact that the record has not played so far is evidence that there are as of yet no aliens in the vicinity of the Voyager much less inside it. What does NASA have to say about all this? It simply seems that the Voyager is getting old. 
Susan Dodd, the project manager for both the Voyagers said the spacecraft is almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We are also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. It seems from Dodd's statement that there is absolutely nothing to actually worry about. The data is just simply either a high radiation signal that the Voyager picked from a range of similar signals, considering its position in space for a small error in the Voyager system. Further reports from NASA indicate that there is a glitch in Voyager's attitude articulation and control system alternatively called AC. The axe is responsible for keeping the spacecraft in the correct orientation with its antenna pointed towards Earth. Hence, it is the one responsible for the faulty data being received by NASA Space Center back here on Earth. Even though the public only just got to know this glitch, now, there is no claim by NASA for when it started or by when they aim to resolve this. They have however, said that they are currently investigating the issue further and will then try to fix or adapt the other systems according to it. But since the whole feedback mechanism takes more than two days to complete, this is going to be a long process. Considering the Voyager's current distance of 14.6 billion miles from Earth, it seems almost impossible for NASA to carry out a rescue mission for the spacecraft. Until further investigations are made, it cannot be said how long the Voyager will be able to function back in space. This has been officially confirmed in statements issued by NASA. Does this mean an end to the Voyager's journey through the dark expanses of space? If the issue is not solved quickly, it seems likely that the Voyager program will end. However, NASA has already planned for new space probes and just recently started receiving information from the most powerful telescope in the world the James Webb Space Telescope.